chef and owner of Pope Jones and the Pie Shop. Matt Wilkinson is joining me today. He's not only the most amazing chef, but he's also a book author. Three books, and this is your new book, yes. Mr. and Mrs. Wilkinson, How It Is at Home. It's such a great book. Thank you, thank you. And this is one of the recipes from the book, from the picnic section. Yep, so this is co-written with my wife. Yep. Um, it is sectioned into things of like what happens in our life. So mm. going on picnics, uh, we've got mum's away, dad's away, when the kids are away, yep. and then uh, my favourite section, which is the, the repertoire, the seven dishes that most people always have. That is such a great idea, and it's such a useful book. It's one of those books that you will have on your bench top and use regularly. Yeah. This is a gorgeous... Zucchini slice. Yep. Yep. Um, so it's kind of more like a zucchini bread. It's a play on carrot cake. Yep. Um, it's the perfect thing to take to the park, round to a friend's house. How can I help you with this recipe? So whilst I'm doing the pickles, yep. if you can make the bread. Sure. Um, yep. Literally the bread is just grated zucchini. Uh, we've lightly salted it and squeezed out the excess mm -hmm. moisture. Sure. So then can you follow the rest of the ingredients? Yes. And bring it together. Mm -hmm. It's got self-raising flour. Mm -hmm some bicarb, salt, olive oil, lemon, sugar, nutmeg and cinnamon. Nice. And a lot of those things you would have in your pantry already. Yeah. So it's not like you've got to go out and buy things. And it, I'm sure this is interchangeable. We're using zucchini today, but are there many other vegetables that you could yep. use? Like saying carrot cake, um, sweet potato, a sweet potato bread. Nice. Um, now pickles, I grew up with pickles. My granddad Tom, he had pickles with everything. Yeah. Um, this is a quick recipe pickle where it's equal quantities of basically water. Mm -hmm. Uh, vinegar, now for, uh, you can use white vinegar, I like to use apple cider vinegar or a good quality uh, white wine vinegar mm -hmm. and then sugar. Yeah. Um, we're adding chilli to this mm -hmm. and we're adding saffron. Mm -hmm. So th this actual pickle is great with, so if you wanted to thinly cut some salmon, pour it over. Mm -hmm. um, sardines it's an amazing with. For today we're going to do fennel, carrots and onion. Nice one. So I'm going to thinly cut this fennel, peel mm -hmm. and thinly cut the carrots and white onion. Then to the zucchini, mm -hmm. we're going to add the 100 ml of olive oil and three eggs. Nice. And then add the dry ingredients to the wet ingredients and bring it together to form um, almost like a dough, like a sure. wet batter. I can do that. So just 100 ml, good quality extra virgin. I love baking with olive oil. It keeps any type of cake super moist. Australia makes some of the best extra virgin olive oil. It only makes extra virgin olive oil in Australia. Mm -hmm. And for me, we should all be using Australian olive oil. It's in our backyard and the flavour of our olive oil is, is second to none. It's just gorgeous, beautiful perfume to it. Stunning. Um, and so many different varieties. So the pickling liquor is ready. It's come mm -hmm. to the boil. I've turned it off. Yep. Could you pass me a peeler? Peeler for you, sir. Thank you. And I'm just going to whisk those three eggs with the olive oil and the zucchini. I love these classic cakes where it's just wet ingredients, dry ingredients, pop it together into the oven. We're using a loaf tin. We've just lined it with some baking paper. Matt, how long are we cooking this in the oven for? Uh, 180, 185, yep. bottom shelf, uh, 50 to 70 minutes. Now that might sound uh, like a big variance, yep. but some people have good ovens. Me personally at home, my oven's a bit... It's got hot say, and cold spots. It's not, it's not the greatest. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's, it, it's variance, also um, the ambient heat around as well. That helps because there is a bit of bicarb in there and self-raising flour. Yeah. It does rise quite quickly. Nice one. Uh, and then it's just about baking it. Cool. All right, well, I'm going to finish mixing that and we'll get that straight into the oven. How are your pickles going? Um, we're just going to lightly salt them. So salt we'll pass that across, you. please. Yes. Then we're going to divide them up. Mm -hmm between the jars yep. and then pour the hot liquid over them. Too easy. Matt, that looks sensational. Crunchy on the top and we've allowed it to cool too. Yeah, mm -hmm. cool down a little bit. Still a little bit warm. Mm. Um, I'm going to slice this. Yep. Can you get the prosciutto ready? Can do. And I guess you can serve this, like you said at the beginning, however you like, with a bit of butter, maybe some extra olive oil over the top if you like. This 
is the perfect way. This is the way I like to have it at home. How it is at home, right? How it is at home. <laughs> With and pickles and cheese. Yeah, yeah, a bit of glass of a wine. Oh, yes, yum. This is actually a nice idea if you want a, a light dinner too. You know, if you've had a big lunch, you just want something light. I love all this sort of ploughman style um, setup. Yeah, like smorgasbord. Just yeah. We call them bits of dinners when you've just got leftovers and a bit of bread and... So I'll put some of these pickles into here. Mm -hmm. You could put them straight on. Actually, you know what? We'll put them straight on. Mm, they smell so good. And literally, we'll just break the bread. Mm -hmm. I'll get you a little plate. Excuse fingers. There's yours. And where did you want your prosciutto? Just straight just in. Um, and then I'll just pop that there. Pop that here. A little bit of feta. Smear it on. This is just... I'm in heaven here. I love my job. Have I ever mentioned that? <laughs> and I'm that, gonna take some pickles. That to me is just a a great little snack. Maddie, that cake looks so moist. I'm gonna have a taste of that. Mmm, with the pickles and the cheese and the prosciutto. That is such an epic cake. You've made it beautifully. Thank you. Mm. And it's also great for breakfast with a poached egg on top. Oh, I mean, the list is endless on what you can do with this versatile cake. That is in your picnic section of the book. I love it. I'm going to add that to my repertoire now. Awesome. <laughs>